I've been up since 6 and I'm really really tired so naturally I wanted to film a video yeah I don't even really have that much to say I was just kind of in the mood to film plus I'm in my new bedroom did you notice did you notice it's a little different I have a new headboard yes it's a new headboard gosh I just saw be that really scared me um because my windows are open you know back to my room so this is my new bedroom in my new apartment and I haven't even filmed in here at all really because I went home to my parents house for a couple of weeks and then I went to Orlando to go to Disney World and Universal with my family so I actually haven't been in this room since there's been like things like headboard and stuff to film so that's kind of cool this is like my first little video in this room I really like it I really like the wall color it's like the perfect shade of pale pink this room is about twice the size of my last room so I like it I prefer it um that wasn't an Australian accent that was what I call alien I feel like if aliens had an accent, that's what they would sound like. I'm really bad at accents, actually, so if I was trying to make it sound like any of those, I definitely failed. Um, but this room's cool because this is basically what you could see in my last room, but this was basically my whole room in my last room. Literally, there was probably like two feet on either side of what you could see from the camera, and that was my room. It was pretty small. This room, this is where my bed is, and then I literally have like double the space over there. I'm going to do like a little library book nook thing over there that I can read and I have like this chase lounge I'll show it to you guys pine cones over there laying around I'll take my camera over there okay I'll do it now hi pine cone hi are you lounging on my new chase lounge with my pygmy puff from Harry Potter world yeah you like the pygmy puff don't eat it pine cone that's rude this is one of the new pieces I got for my room here because my room here is a little bit bigger than what I had in my last apartment I kind of like it <laughs> You're cute, pine cone. You like the camera. It goes really well with my Paris painting from college too that I've had forever. I love that thing, so it all kind of goes together. When I got this, they asked me if it was a girl or a boy, and they were being very, very serious about it. It was like a big decision on whether it was a girl or a boy. I mean, I think it looks like a girl. I don't know. Pinecone has all of this ink on his paw. This is unacceptable. He like busted a pin open. And he has all this ink on his paws. I need to like wash it off, but I don't know how to get it out of his fur. I tried, and he just like kind of got angry. There's a hanger on the floor. It didn't really work. Pinecone, did you put this hanger there? Hangers are not supposed to be on the floor. <laughs> and this is a closer up look at my new headboard. I'm actually standing on my bed right now. I'm kind of bouncing. Um, but this was actually a vintage headboard that we found and we actually completely reconstructed it. We sanded it down, we repainted it, I picked the fabric out and the little crystals and we just kind of redid a vintage piece. I thought that that would be kind of fun. I did that with a few more pieces but they aren't in yet. This bedding will not be, you know, it doesn't really go with the theme of this room but I still like it. You know what I'm loving right now? I'm loving the Vampire Academy books. Um, I think this has my plane ticket in it. Yes, that was my bookmark when I was on the plane. So I finished this one. This is the third one um, on the plane. And I had bought the fourth one because I bought the third and the fourth one to take to Orlando with me. And I thought I had packed it. And clearly I had not because I got here. I was so excited to come home and open up my suitcase and get out my blood promise, which is the fourth book. That sounded really kind of weird. And read it like you do with books and it wasn't in there and I was really sad um so I bought it on my iPad I don't normally buy books on my iPad because I prefer to have them in actual book form I'm just kind of old-fashioned like that I don't know I just really like actual books but I made an exception because I really wanted to read it and I had left it and plus my iPad's kind of cute. I actually hadn't used this really like it. I never really got like super attached to it until the Orlando trip. And now I'm super attached to it. And it has a cute little case on it. You can see like my little thingy, a little sticker. And um, I kind of showed this in my suitcase video and everyone was like, oh my gosh, your little sticker is already scratching off. It's designed to look like that, guys. It's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look kind of like... Well, I imagine that it kind of looks like it's been on a pirate ship, stolen loot. 
came back to me after being on a stolen loot pirate ship. I'm aware that my lighting's kind of weird. It's nighttime and this is my first video filming in this room and I don't know the lighting situation really at all. So I know this one's weird, but it's not a tutorial or anything, so I figure it's fine. Blair and I have been up since six because we went to the Step Up Women's Network Inspiration Awards this morning, which was amazing. It's basically this women's organization that facilitates mentoring between professional women and girls in high school that probably wouldn't graduate, wouldn't go to college, all that stuff, and it kind of pushes them to be academically successful. And they had a 100% success rate this year and last, rate, last year of their graduating class of girls who not only graduated high school, but they went on to college. So it's amazing. It takes these girls from families that have never, like they're the first generation high school graduates. No one in their family has done it. And they mentor them and they kind of give them the inspiration that they need to kind of become a better and more professional woman. So I love it. I thought it was amazing. Blair and I both started crying during the award ceremony because a bunch of the girls got up on stage and gave little speeches and stuff and it was just, it was amazing. It was really, really great. But a lot of people on Twitter were asking us to tweet outfit of the day pictures of our dresses and we actually didn't have time. We were running around and trying to like, we got professional hair and makeup done this morning. That was a long time ago, several hours ago. So we were kind of running around doing that, trying to go to several different places and then um, trying to like grab a bite to eat so that we didn't get too hungry. And, that's a bad thing when you try to get hungry when you're trying to go to an event because I've done that before and it does not work out very well. You end up just getting grumpy. I didn't take any pictures of me actually wearing the dress, although you could probably find it somewhere online, but I did pose it. I'll show you guys. Pose is a free app that you can download from the app store and it's basically like live hauling. It's like really, really cool. It's like a log of all of your window shopping adventures and you can follow people like my Pose screen name is Elle Fowler, just like Twitter. And I actually sent this one out to my Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, even if you don't even know what Pose is, you can still see it. But it's cooler on your phone, even though you can see it on the computer, it's much cooler on your phone. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. This is what the little, your little feed looks like of all the people you follow and all the things, all the fashion things they've taken pictures of and snapped. And as you can see, mine is up here. I'll click on it. And it goes to my page, which basically has a full size picture of the dress. And then underneath it, it has like my little quote. I'm like, I wore this dress to the 2011 Step Up Inspiration Awards, smiley face. And you can put your brand in there, you can put the price, you can put the store you got it in, and it's just like a log. So when your friends are going through it, if you have a friend that lives in the same area as you and you shoot a picture of these awesome hot pink heart shoes, and she's like, and I say that because I saw an awesome pair of heart shoes on Pose, and she wants to go get it, it has the price and the store and all that stuff, and she can go get it. You can also like, favorite other people's poses or like heart it like you can press the little heart heart can you heart i just heart it in my own pose and if you go to discover you can find like new people so there's like three categories there's posers popular and featured posers is like a hand-picked group of people like blair and i are on there just people that do like fashion things and stuff are on there and then you can click popular and that's just popular ones that have been favorited a lot and hearted a lot and stuff and then you can do featured, which is just poses we thought you'd like. You can just haul on the go and you can feed it out to like your Twitter or your Facebook. I fed mine out to Twitter so that you guys could see the dress because a lot of people were asking. Oh, and these are the earrings. I actually forgot to show these or pose them or anything. These are actually from Forever 21. I wear this with the dress and they're like little peacock earrings and I thought they were kind of cute and they kind of matched because the dress was kind of pale but had like little streams of color going through it so this matched the colors and it added a little bit of a pop behind my hair. I had a lot of fun in Disney World and Universal. That trip was just fun. It was kind of like spur of the moment. My whole family went and we haven't really taken a vacation together in a long time so it was pretty amazing. I just liked spending time with them and stuff and um, we actually stayed at Universal at one of the hotels at Universal. We didn't stay on the Disney lot and we went to Universal two of the days and then we went to Disney one of the days and then one of the days we ended up just having a pool day because our hotel had this awesome pool it was like a beach pool and so it had sand all around it and then it kind of like sloped down instead of having steps it was really cool and they had like this grill that you could order and they'd bring your food right by the pool it was pretty amazing so we had one day that we just um, kind of spent by the pool it was it was the third day and everyone was kind of tired by then and everyone was still kind of travel jet lags not that we changed time zones but it was more i think everyone had worked a lot right up until then like my dad had and we had and we had traveled and all that stuff so um it was amazing though and my travel series turned out to be pretty accurate um i think most probably 95 percent of the stuff i took i actually used 
Out of my purse, the only thing that didn't come in handy was that protein nutrition blueberry bar. I didn't end up eating it. I ended up eating it on the plane, but it didn't. I didn't eat it at the parks, so I probably wouldn't have taken it. But the brush, the hairbrush, and the pressed powder, and what else was in it? Those two came so in handy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in Universal, I went on the... Oh, my battery's about to run dead. Hang on. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, on the Jurassic Park ride, my dad and I went. Blair didn't go because she didn't want to get wet, and it was a water ride. And everyone was like, oh, you don't get too wet. I'm like, I'm cool. Like, I can get wet. My hair will turn into a poodle. I'm fine. I'm at an amusement park. I will get wet. So I go on it with my dad, and the boat in front of us, like, I don't know if you guys have been on that, which, by the way, it was not worth it. Like, it was one of the lamest rides I rode there. But you basically, like, go down this big old thing. You think the Tyrannosaurus Rex is going to get you, and then you, like, go under it, and you go down this big old, like, waterfall, and then you get all wet. Well, the boat in front of us didn't get wet at all. Like, I don't know what they did, but it must have been, like, some sort of wave from that boat hit our boat, and our boat got soaked. I was the only girl on our boat. We had a bunch of guys, and even the guys were like, ma'am, that stung. I didn't mean to get all wet. Like, everyone was so <laughs> mad about it. My hair was drenched. Like, I could have taken a shower for how wet I was. It was ridiculous. But my brush came in very handy because I brushed it all out and I didn't turn into a poodle. And because if I had, the dinosaurs would have wanted to eat me more because they eat like goats and stuff in Jurassic Park. It like freaks me out. I used to cry over that scene, guys, when they would like eat the goat off the chain and then the chain would be there. I would cry. The Harry Potter Forbidden Journey ride, the one that goes through the castle, was amazing. It was the best ride I think I've ever ridden and it was the best one I definitely rode during that trip at all the parks. I rode it twice. Still wish that I could have my Hogwarts letter. If I could pronounce the school, maybe I would get in. And yeah, it was, it was so good. Oh my gosh, it was such a good ride. They did such a good job with that. And then the Spider-Man ride was really good too. It had really good effects. I rode that twice too. My mom even got on that one she got on the Harry Potter one too she won't get on anything and she got on those two she got on like the Dumbo ride with my sister she did the whole Dr. Seuss world with my like little sister my littlest one but um she doesn't do a lot of scary rides Blair and I went on every scary ride you can think of every single one of them but um yeah it was really good the Disney rides weren't as good as I remember them being like it's a small world and the Peter Pan ride in the Snow White ride, they had all gotten changed. Like they're not the same as they were when I was a kid. I did get Peter Pan's autograph though. I did. This is my autograph book. Does that remind you of anything special that you might have seen in my video prior? Okay. Peter Pan was the very first person that got to autograph my book because I was in love with him when I was little, even though I'm not sure that he's Anyway, um, I was in love with him when I was little and I wanted to be weensy. And so I saw him and I had to get his autograph and then I got a couple more. My goal was to have all of the princes sign my autograph book and there were none to be found. So I got a bunch of princesses, even though that was not my goal. I did not like stand in line to like get these autographs by myself. I was with my littlest tiny sister. She's only eight. I wasn't like standing in line to get autographs by myself. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I also got this little sticker book because it also has the little cat that reminds me of my cat in it. And it's like a coloring book with stickers. Like I would have loved to own this when I was little. And so I'm gonna make the most of it. Figured I'd use this like in my little agenda and stuff and kind of like spice it up with cute cat pictures. I just thought it was cute. So I got these two from like the little Disney store. I'm kind of crazy in this video. I'm aware. Um, normally this happens when I get little sleep and I wake up really early and I've had a really long day and I have to do a lot and then I want to film at night and I get like a second wind, like a second burst of energy at night. The next video you guys can expect maybe we'll go on my vlog channel because this one I think I'm going to put on my main channel. I might do like a Harry Potter park review because I got some of the candies and the drinks that are over there um, and a pick me puff which you guys saw earlier in the video because Pinecone was playing with it. So I might do like a little review of what the candies taste like because a lot of you guys seemed interested in that and personally I would watch that if someone else did it because I'm such a Harry Potter buff. So I will see you guys later and um, sweet dreams. Bye.